hello everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to bake procedural textures into image uh, for blender when we are trying to export our 3d model to gltf so if you uh, try exporting uh, your 3d model to gltf and you are using procedural texture those procedural texture are not getting applied uh, when you try to export it so i'll just show show one demo to you and then we'll see how to bake those textures into an image as well so i have one simple cube you can have any 3d model whatever you feel like so what we do what we'll do is we'll just go to uh, this material tab over here okay we already have one material to this so i can directly go to the shading tab if you don't have the material tab you just have to click on this plus button and on this material you have to click on the plus button and it you should get this principal bhdf as well as material out okay these two textures are fine but what if i use some advanced procedural textures like for one i can use something like texture coordinate so i'm just adding those so here is our texture coordinate next one is mapping so i'll just add mapping as well over here uh, then is noise texture so i'll just again click on add noise texture over here i'll just move this a bit again i'll just make it a little bit bigger and i'll just move this a little bit here is our noise texture and i'll add one color ramp as well okay now what i'll do i'll just connect them so here i have connected the, this to this this to this then i can just uh, connect the fac to fac over here and the color to base color over here okay now here you can see it has applied some now i'll just give it some color so i'll just select this particular part first i'll click on this i'll just move it up a little bit and here you can see i'll just give it this particular color then i'll come over here i'll select this and i'll give this particular color so here you can see this is how our cube is now i'm not be i have not yet baked our procedural texture into an image i'll try to export it first in into gltf so i'll just go to file export gltf go to desktop and yeah you can save it wherever you feel like i'll just click on export uh, gltf 2.0 now we'll uh, go to a website called gltf viewer okay so what i'll do is i'll just drag and drop this gltf and here you can see our procedural texture has not been applied so that's why we need to bake procedural texture into image now you might be working some other 3d uh, model format which does allow procedural texture out of the box but at least gltf does not allow it and gltf is the most standard one so what we need to do is first go to uv editing and here uh, make sure you are inside this edit mode over here just press u and here you will have to select smart uv projection then click on unwrap then you need to go to shading and here we need to create one more window so here you can just move your cursor over something like this it should become like this uh, okay and you can just drag and drop it like this so you will have one more window i'll just move this at the bottom once you have one more window you just need to select image editor over here so once you have image editor just click on new and here is select new view if you want to change the image name i mean you should but i'll just keep it untitled only i'll just click on new image once that is done we need to add image texture over here i'll just move it up i'll just zoom in a little zoom out a little and here i'll just add an image texture okay and i'll just move it over here we need to connect this image texture to principal bhdf but let's not do it now first inside your image texture again i'll just zoom in my image texture and here we need to uh, just select the untitled image which we have created or if you have given some different name make sure you select that so i'll just select that once we select the image which we have created we need to go to uh, render properties now here inside uh, this particular uh, uh, render uh, rendering engine we have to select cycles we can't select ev at, at least as far as i know uh, then we need to scroll down because this big property is not available in ev at least at the time of me recording this so here i'll just select big now here inside bake type i will def uh, select diffuse even i'm not really sure which one bake type to select i've just played around with diffuse and it did the trick for me in most of the cases and then here inside this contribution 
uh, I'll just select the uncheck this direct and indirect and then you just need to click on bacon okay sorry I think I need to we need to select this okay then we will need to click on okay why is this not I'll need to select this I guess okay so make sure you have selected uh, your 3d model as well otherwise you will get an error now here you can see the baking is happening it does take a, time, a bit of time now it was pretty quick for me because my 3d model was simple once this was done then I think I can just directly connect it to principle not to the metallic part it, I need to connect it to the base color okay I'll just remove this okay so something like this now the color ramp uh, connection is gone which is fine that doesn't really matter then I can again go to file export GLTF go to desktop I'll just export it again I'll go to our GLTF here I'll just refresh this I'll drag and drop our GLTF model and here you can see I'll just zoom out our uh, procedural texture are been applied while exporting to GLTF so yeah that's it thank you for watching bye